So you called the number that Christian gave you and you were expecting Jorge to answer, yes? Correct. And you said, is this Mr. Jorge? And they said no. Okay, first problem, and it's just the way the world is, the minute you try and verify somebody's identity, you are opening yourself up to getting sworn at, hung up on, and your call blocked. Because that's what every telemarketer, whether it's Mexico, US, Brazil, Italy, Portugal, China, South Korea, North Korea, does. So they verify the identity. Am I speaking to Mr. Jorge? Is this Mr. Jorge? Can I talk to Mr. Jorge? Right? So a more skillful way to have started that is ring, ring, ring. And I'm assuming the person just answered and said hello or hola or whatever. I don't speak Spanish. Correct? And so you didn't know who you were talking to. I'm just going to assume it's Jorge. But I'm going to say this. Uh, hey, Jorge, Matt Easton, Easton Insurance. A uh, Christian called in a favor and wanted me to reach out to you personally. Pause. Full stop. Christian had asked me a favor and wanted to reach. So I'm saying who I am. I'm saying my position. It's Matt Easton, founder of Easton University. Matt Easton, uh, I run sales for Acme Insurance. Blah, 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 blah. Christian, and if you know Christian's your son, or his son, was it his son or his nephew? What was it? Right, his son. Great. Your son Christian had asked me to reach out to you personally. kind of called in a favor, asked me to reach out to you personally. Pause. At that point, whoever is not Jorge is going to go, this isn't Jorge. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. My, my bad. Christian had given me this number. Is there a better number for me to reach out to Jorge? Yeah, it's uh, blah, 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 blah. They'll give you the number, right? Don't start selling the person who's not the person. Well, what is this call in regarding? Well, I was, I had, and be honest, I had a workshop with Christian. We went over some things on insurance. I run the area here. Christian asked me for a personal favor if I could run a few ideas by his father. Is, yeah, Christian's the son, right? Jorge's the dad. Boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I can't give out his number. Got it. Makes, makes sense. Uh, what's a good next step? Uh, email him. Got it. I'm, I'm confused because Christian wanted me to call him, but I'm happy to send over an email. What's the best email? Right? And then just work that way. The minute that we start saying, are you this or are you that? And then we start selling and saying things like, I've got an idea that's a game changer for you, blah, 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 blah. When it's not the person we called, it just goes the wrong road. So I want you to try that in the future. Make sure you're not verifying their identity. Does that make sense? Perfect. And then let's say it was Jorge, which it wasn't. I'm giving you permission to use, and I don't know what the Spanish translation on this, but I'm giving you permission to use these two words in a nice way, not a sarcastic way. And the two words are, I'm confused. Right? Listen to the difference. Well, if I could just have five minutes of your time and I've got something that's a game changer for your firm and Christian was at this practice versus or he's like, man, I don't want you MFers calling me and blah, 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 blah. You said he used very colorful language. Stop calling me. Let's say it was Jorge, not Christian, right? I want you to just take a step back and go, I'm, I'm, I'm confused because Christian had called in a favor and asked me to reach out to you personally. Right? Well, I don't like taking calls like this. Got it. The last thing, it seems like I've offended you here. The last thing I wanted to do is upset you. What's, what's a good next step? And you're going to be shocked how they're like, well, you know, let's just walk through it, Christian. Or if they still go that worse way, right? Got it. What's a good next step on my end? I don't know. Just don't call me anymore. Perfect. I'll reach out to, to Christian and I'm, I'm again... I'm really sorry I bothered you, but it, could you do me this favor? Yeah, sure. What is it? When you talk to Christian, will you let Christian know that I did follow through on this? Because I, 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 Christian had asked me for a personal favor to talk to you guys about this. The la Christian's very important to, to me and my relationship with Christian. The last thing I want him thinking is, hey, I, I want you. I'm asking you for a favor. Can you help my father? And Christian thinking that I blew you off. Yeah, sure, no problem, I'll let Christian know. <clears throat> and listen to how that's going to go. He's probably going to be call Christian right after, yo, this guy called me. Yeah, that guy's really great. You should be talking to Alex. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Alex, hey, it's Ore. I'm uh, sorry, I was busy. You know how it is in the office. We just, uh, no, no problem. I totally get it, right? We can't force things. But what you also cannot do is assume somebody's identity, okay?